Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of rates and unit rates. I'll cover what rates and unit rates are, and then how to find unit rates. Now, rates compare and show the relationship between quantities with different units. So rates are just ratios that compare and show the relationship between quantities with different units. A unit rate is a specific type of rate. A unit rate is a rate with a denominator of one. It shows per one unit. Let's jump into our examples and see exactly what this means. Starting with number one, where we have 36 miles in four days. For example, let's say that someone rode their bike 36 miles in four days. This rate compares and shows the relationship between the number of miles ridden and the days that it took to do so. So two different units of measure, miles and days. We can write this rate as a fraction. Now order matters. We have miles and then days. So our fraction needs to represent that order. 36 miles in four days. Make sure to label and include units within rates since we are working with different units. We need to be clear what those units are. So this is a rate, 36 miles in four days. Now let's find the unit rate. Unit rates always have a denominator of one. We want per one unit. In this case, we want how many miles per one day. Let's do this by dividing our denominator by four. That will give us a denominator of one, representing one day. So 36 miles in four days is going to equal, well, again, we need to divide by four in order to get that denominator of one. Four divided by four is one, and we need to label, so this is one day. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So divide 36 by four as well. 36 divided by four is nine. And this is miles. And that's our unit rate, nine miles per one day or nine miles per day. Now we can also write this as nine miles per day. So our original rate was 36 miles in four days. And then we found our unit rate. We did that by getting our denominator to equal one. We did that by dividing by four. That gave us nine miles per day. Let's move on to number two, where we have $96 in eight hours. So someone makes $96 in eight hours. We will write that as a rate in fractional form and then find the unit rate. So let's first write that as a rate in fractional form. So we have $96 in eight hours. So that's our rate. Let's find our unit rate. So how much money per one hour? We can do this by dividing by eight because again, we need that denominator to equal one. So let's divide by eight here to give us one hour. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So 96 divided by eight as well. That gives us $12. So our unit rate is $12 per one hour or $12 per hour. And we can also write that as $12 per hour. So there you have it. There's how you write rates and unit rates. Rates are ratios that compare two quantities with different units. And then a unit rate is a specific type of rate. It's a rate with a denominator of one. We show per one unit. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.